So my key question is, uh, what paradigms <laughs> do you think need to be challenged? Uh, the one hand uh, in your industry, in your work, maybe at the mm -hmm. other hand, if uh, you want to talk also in general, maybe for the world, the world today in this particular situation, perhaps, and uh, humanity. So it's really up to you. That's a good question. Okay, well, I'd say um, that, you know, our discussion even kind of reinforced that that's sort of always the path I've been on, like from my initial thought of things need to change and coming from the perspective of business and, and specialized in marketing, I kind of see that we're still in our barter system. It's just times 7 billion plus people now and we have a medium of exchange between us, money, but we're still in an exchange system. And in order to exchange, it comes down to uh, the ability to communicate what you're available to exchange and then the ability to actually exchange it, to have that, that transaction. And right now that's online for us. And, and especially in this crisis, it's literally all we've got. And so um, I was grateful that I entered this field at the time that the internet was so becoming so accessible and becoming a, you know, a marketplace for us. And it was one that already was shifting a paradigm for communications, let's say globally. You know, right now, everyone's online and we haven't had that kind of marketing power or even communication power since, you know, pre-television when everyone was just listening to the radio and you had 100% of everyone in one place. Um, and so the internet presented that in terms of marketing and communication. It was the first communication tool that we had globally uh, that wasn't built for advertisement. It wasn't uh, obliged to be a one-way propaganda vehicle. <laughs> um, so the internet itself was a paradigm shift for mass communication and marketing. And then within the internet, I would say what I'm specialized in, the concept of inbound marketing or these organic um, marketing methods, communication methods, that was a paradigm shift as well because everyone hit the internet the same way they knew how to use the other promotion tools is like just sell advertising and, you know, one way, me, 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 like <laughs> blah, blah, blah. We have the opportunity to have two-way communication now, connected conversations. So inbound marketing in and of itself represents a paradigm shift within online marketing. And I think it's a term pe people are more used to now. And even social business as a concept uh, was a paradigm shift to say, hey, business shouldn't just be about profit. Let's look at the planet. Let's look at people. Let's look at purpose. And that, you know, business should be solving a problem. And if you're not solving a problem with your business, then what are you doing? And so these were the subjects that I've been rallying at the beginning, feeling that that's where we needed to go in our barter system to know that social business, conscious business is an option and an industry in and of itself kind of competing with the death and dying industry that we've all been like built up on. There is a life and living industry. Um, and so that's represented through these B cores, through these social businesses. Um, and then I would say how I'm even you know, that personal reflection of how do I want to live? Like if I were to bring a human here, I would want to be able to be home with them or travel with them. Um, you know, even if I'm not, the fact that I have, you know, people in my life, if you want to see one day, I really never felt uh, that it made sense or it was so healthy to be stuck in this nine to five box of going in and checking out and just felt so robotic and, and not human. And so lifestyle is the word that comes up for me <laughs> in terms of always being at the root of my goals. And it was motivated by my own lifestyle, but it represents a lifestyle in corporate culture that I feel we needed to shift to. And that's a paradigm shift of how we work. And so Cometa, which is the organization that I run, we're a collective of contractors that all basically put those values first, our lifestyle, our health, the quality of our life comes first. We're human beings first. And by honoring that and taking care of each other that way and supporting each other 
and reminding each other that that's what the opportunity we have right now together, it really allows our work to be more impactful and higher quality and, you know, truly, truly valuable because it's so pure and, and, uh, positive and, and, you know, really, uh, very, very intentional. So the way that I'm running the business, the, the business that I'm building, the, the behind the scenes, the collective component to it represents a new way of working for contractors. Um, I've always felt in this barter system that it was risky to put all your eggs in one basket. So the idea of being employee and banking on a big company to pay your pension and, you know, retire. I mean, we've been seeing it for a long time that that's not reliable. And now in this crisis, my God, did that just show up to say, hey, look at the, like, the big companies are the first ones to break down and shoot you aside. And, you know, it's the smaller businesses that are representing the stories of hope and the resilience uh, that's needed to be able to adapt. And entrepreneurship is a game of resilience. It's a, it's a leap of faith every day. I define it as faith. Um, so there is a paradigm shift in the way that I'm even running this, this company and the, the lifestyle I think that it represents for contractors um, particularly to say, and, and I think everyone honestly should look at themselves as an independent professional and they're either lending their name and their talent and their energy to an organization that pre-exists that hopefully they align with or they're going to go on their own with it. Um, but either way, it's really important that we all know our value, that we all know, you know, what we're worth on an open market and what we're worth maybe to that company then. And that we know what our skills are so that if we are in the position where we need to use them independently, we're confident enough to do that. Um, however, in marketing right now, and that's sort of why I went into it, it was that like, yes, I could make a lot more money than I've made uh, easy because there's not too many people specialized in online marketing. It's hard to catch up. They still can't really teach it so well. But that wasn't going to change anything. Um, if I wanted to help the people who were ready to build conscious businesses, to contribute to a conscious economy, go against the grain, against the norm, they were wonderful. I met a lot of them in the arts and in health, <laughs> but they had no idea how to promote or organize themselves. And so, you know, they would never afford a huge marketing agency that the larger companies use that are just big boxes, again, upselling and overheading and <laughs> still not really understanding what they're doing or getting necessarily the best results. And that would be like considered my competition right now, or the competition is these platforms with contractors, but they're like not niched and it's like on your own. So, you know, the Upworks and the Fivers and the, <laughs> you know, 99 Designs and all of these platforms are brilliant. But, you know, when you're trying to find someone to help you, you'd have to figure out the whole industry to know how to best work with those people. You'd have to, you'd have to become an expert to know really how to leverage and choose your team that way. So what we're doing is introducing the concept of organizing this, this industry, niching, um, and the Cometa Collective represents contractors that are aligned in our values, uh, our ethics, our professionalism. We come under a brand that speaks to that and for that, and we practice it really with each other most, I'd say. Um, but we're also aligned under this product line that I developed that fits in those categories that I mentioned. And so it helps organize online marketing a bit and helps then you as a contractor to learn actually what you're doing and how you could sell it and what, what inclusions and what pricing.